Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, I guess Callie is uh, not coming or she may be a bit, bit late. So we'll get moving on so we can uh, uh, eventually get to our meeting at 6. So we were asked, uh, the Moore Council Select Board, it is uh, Monday, the uh, July 6th, or Tuesday, July 6th, pardon me. Um, so we were asked uh, a few months ago when we were uh, actually doing virtual uh, meetings at that point by Pam and Hugh Dow to um, ask if we could help identify Legal Trail 18. Um, is that correct, Pam? 15. Legal trail 15. Yeah. It does say 18 on the letter, but it is 15. All right. Yeah. According to tax map 51. <laughs> <laughs> letters are silly. That's why I was going to say we're kind of in the wrong place already. But. Um, so, all right. So, we're just, as a select board here, we'll, what we'll do is we'll, we'll take a little walk through and we'll go back to the office. Uh, the reconvening meeting at 6. We have an open. Uh, discussion for five minutes if people have public comment then particularly need to be on this and then we will spend 10 to 15 minutes or whatever it takes to take some comment on the walk here so that way it's done where everyone hopefully can hear those questions concerns or what's going on um, so I, I will we'll start though with a question where is the perceived trail 15 now or how is it being used and that we're trying to figure this out I'm not trying to interrupt but yep. I understood there right away was going to be up this road and off at the first turn or whatever. Okay. Oh, that's on that building lot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's two building lots. Well, this is more the legal trail of where it goes, where the town views it as, because there's some discrepancies. There's been some changes on an email that we mentioned back in April that um, we got correspondence from Cheryl and Sasha. Sasha. So, and just try to clarify where it goes. So, does everyone, everyone has a different opinion where it goes? Is that one? The town road ends here. I, we think that the town road ends here. Yeah, yeah. At the mailbox, basically. Yeah. Town road ends here. So after that, it's the trail. And the trail, all right. Yeah. Yeah. This way. That this way. way. Yeah. It goes this way. Yeah. <laughs> yep. way. Yeah. We can walk the trail. Yeah, why don't we? Yep. <laughs> So, I can walk you a little further and we yeah. can show you. So, I think that dog is the key. Well, I think that. And I, um, so I the, would look more on the two right here. Yep. And the ANR shows it going straight. Now, is this the town road and the red's the map? Is the legal trail? Which I think it is. I right. think that jog that we see back here is back in the middle of the road. The town highway 38, the Seaman Hill. That jog was there. Okay. No, I didn't hear any of that. So we're just trying to figure out where uh, where we are. This is gray. So right here is where it kind of gets gray. Gray, or then I'm not sure. Muddy. Where, muddy. Yeah. Where it's I'm where. sorry, I don't know your name. I'm Hugh. And um, based on looking at the map, Yep. It's this that little gray right here, right here right which seems right to be right almost this. See, and I don't, I think this gray yeah, yeah, is the town road and the um, red is the trail. And it shows sure. it going straight. straight. So, right. that's the red is one by the trail. I yeah, it and it shows right. it going straight out this way. Right. All right. Yeah. Which we haven't been walking straight since we got this down on the trail anyway, so. Right. But, like I said, back in 2010, the email that Pam's got from Brian Ward and to Cheryl Brown into another gentleman, they straightened it. Of course, how can you straighten it when you got three different property owners and nobody's notified? So the question right now is this way or this way? Yeah, or how does the town view this trail? That's the big question. Uh, 
Who are the, what's the right, three so property owners? Pam and Hugh Dow. The new owners, which I don't know their names because this lot was just sold. Marilyn Cameron, which is up here. And Nikki Welshalu, which is her daughter, which isn't here. So for four acres. Who's this? So the lot that okay. So our lot is here, but Maryland's is all. And so there's no clear yeah. delineation. There's no, yeah. no, no, no. And the tax map does have it just cut up pretty good. And that's tax map 51 that I was looking at. They do have it. And I was dealing with Don from Littleton who did the last tax map. Because he has some uh, boundaries messed up out here, which I showed him all the documentation. And he's making, he made the changes. So that's how it is. Do you think we're standing right there? No, that's back on the road. I'm thinking we're standing like. Oh, I don't I'd say we're standing. I was talking to Kendall the other day because I get angry. Because it goes 0.42 miles at the end of the road, out. That's what the, the town records okay. show. But which way does it go? Because Pam's email says straight. The ANR, ANR shows straight. My survey shows turns. And that's the way it used to go, was up and turn. Turn here and then go up out mm -hmm. that way. But, and that's I'll get it measured to where 0.42, where this ends up. Just out of here, how you yep. see. Is there still a trail when it goes? Yes. It's there? not as defined as that, but there is you a trail that goes out. You can definitely see it once there. there. Sure. Yeah. And what about, and this trail go, connects to it? This is the snow machine yeah. trail. No, that goes the other direction, and that's... Oh, well, that's something else. Yeah. Is that a bath? Yeah. I was kind of wondering how much bath will come to more time. Back in 2010, I, as a landowner, never got any notification it was happening. Yeah, neither did we. Like, I didn't get a notification of today either. So, it's so this is from no. Jonathan Cox. No, I went down. Who is? Not just that. Um, I don't think I sent you one, but maybe. The Vert B Trans Mapping person. I believe it's sort of an LT15 Lester Lane. And again, that's some of the confusion because Lester Lane's not a part of this in any way. Plus, um, introduced from the B Trans. But this mapping switch from so pad base to GIS so base. Okay. And then it goes, there have been discrepancies in the data and we have worked to improve these issues. The Moreton map has not been updated since 2003. And the alignment is shown with a curve on this map. Um, on the map we don't have. Okay. Right. We've made an update to the road centerline data in the meantime. And LT15 is now shown as a relatively straight line for 0.4 miles off the end of Town Highway 38. So. so they're saying there's another map? I don't know what they're no. saying. That's the confusion is what is this referencing? Um, and the only reason we caught it is because when this was for sale, we were looking at the real estate stuff and it showed the legal trail going straight. We're like, well, first it showed that tax, the tax map was all wrong because it showed that whole piece going with this property, which yeah, was we worked with Don on that and got that changed around. Don yeah, he was really Middleton, helpful. New Hampshire, who did the tax map? Right, right. Sasha got us in touch with him. We showed him all the documentation of what the boundaries look like, and he said, "Yep, you're right. The mistake was made, and he's going to change all, all that." All the town map is messed up. But the work but again, that, that they did in Littleton that was only for general reference. It wasn't to do with legal rights of way. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's the thing with the tax map. And Sherilyn has been yeah, clear that, right. yeah, like to go back, but um, Don, you contacted Don to ask him if he could quickly tell. Right, and he said that if when he took 10 minutes and gone back through several deeds, and he says in his indication it shows it going straight, but I've always known it to go this way, but that doesn't make it right. I just want to know where the town views it. Right. Yeah. Right, Jake? I was saying it goes this way. My father-in-law, who originally bought the land, and everything said it went this way, always. Very good. Well, we'll I guess unless anyone else has anything else to share with us or show us. Yeah. yeah and, but it, and we'll, like I said, we're going to go back. Um, no one's required to come back and, you know, but if you want to come back and have something in here or hear the discussion or if you have something... We may have a question or two. You're welcome. But, yeah. um, and like you said, over time, we know where we've always used it. But when you look at that map, it actually shows that 
legal trails be, you know, like where exactly is it? I'm not it shows sure. it bordering sure. Brian's bordering more exactly, yeah. but it's actually, you know, 100 oh, feet off of it. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's more convenience for my father-in-law who used to run tractors and it was just an easier way of going. You know, down at the no, hill here. Right oh, here. Yeah. Coming yeah. up into yeah. the yeah. house. Yeah. Yeah. Because all the maps show it being right straight to Brian's line. Okay. So this would be the, the trail. Brian. This is Brian's old land. Yeah. 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 In his line. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but in, in these spots where there's a, a stage with an orange tag on it, and it goes right across. There was a time period when he was coming in squawking about a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I got the five nine. Yep. Yeah. I covered my bike there once. But <laughs> yeah. Well, this is all about transfer. Her, you know, she's got to be All right, very good. Thank you. Stay up to see 2015.